Hello and welcome to the third video. In this one we're going to do the game world and just to spare a bit of time so we can actually get to doing maybe a bit of, uh, of movement as well. I already did the uh, a little bit of text here. Uh, essentially it's just console right line, align, uh, spacing, um, playing as and the variable name and coordinates and player x slash player y. Uh, another spacing and another line. So, but now it looks like this new hero's name is going to be Tom. I'll do 600 by 200. As I see, playing as Tom, coordinates are 300 slash 100. Um, and of course, we want to do console dot clear first. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can do some more stuff here. We could. Go uh, one further down. You console that right line. Um, let's see what else did we have. We had uh, da, 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 da. Uh, player health, mana, and hunger. So we could do um, health points or health and player health and. <coughs> A line and we do um let's see here mana and player mana and another spacing um hunger and player hunger I will need to add another console dot right line okay so I can try this. We'll do new Tom uh, 2000 by 1343. And we'll have the courts and our health, mana, and hunger. All right, so now we need to be able to type in some text down here. And yeah, actually, we could do uh, another little feature down here. Or yeah, probably here at the bottom. Console dot right line. Um, type uh, commands to view. Uh, yeah, to view game commands. And do another spacing. There we go. Okay, so now down here, we want to add. Well, first of all, probably another right line. But after this, we need to receive some commands. So we'll use the input once again. Um, sorry for that. Uh, input is equal to console dot read line. Okay, so now we have information, and we can start using that information. So let's. Let's see here, we spent three and a half minutes. We could probably do the, the movement in this one as well. Um, <clears throat> so what we'll do here is we'll say if input is equal to um, move north. Okay, so if move north, then do something. Um, essentially, we could branch this over to another one, which I actually think we should do. So if input is equal to, um, let's see, well, no, we can have the, the main ones here. So move north, then do the following. Okay, so now what we want to do is north, so that'll be minus or x, no, sorry, uh, that'll be the uh, like a minus on the on the y chord. So what we'll do here is we'll say well console dot right line how many steps? Okay. We'll have console or once again input is equal to console dot read line. There we go. 
Um, now we need to do uh, a little bit of math. Um, so what we'll do here is we have input, which is still set to the amount of steps. So what we can go up here and do is public temp step as integer. So that's a temporary step. So actually what we'll do is temp step. There we go. And we'll do this same thing here for could also just do else if but else if input is equal to move south then <coughs> and we can just do console oh we'll just copy this part actually so we're going to use this go and can copy paste this so move south and we'll do west and actually no, east first and then west okay so now the temp step now inside of all of these we or actually uh, right after this end if um, what we want to do is oh wait no sorry it's me it's kind of tired here we want to do um, take step go and we'll copy this um, <laughs> and we'll also do public temp direction as integer and I know this seems like a I don't know like a very weird way of doing it right now but it will it will make sense okay so we'll also do hold on here we'll do temp direction is equal to north which I probably put it as an integer, didn't I? Yeah, it's supposed to be a string. As a string. There you go. Since that will be easier to recognize later. Uh, so that will be equal to north. <coughs> and here it will be equal to south. And east. And west okay so now we'll make a new sub down here sub called take step there you go um so now down here we want to do a little bit of, of like the math so when you take a step if so we'll say if temp direction is equal to north then okay so now if we're going to go north we're going to say y sorry player y minus equal um how much should one step be could be like five or something oh yeah and besides that we have a hunger bar okay so the hunger should be um i'll say player hunger minus equal uh, let's say hmm two or maybe 0 0.5 or something. Okay, so that you actually get a bit hungry as well. Okay. So now in here we want to say, well, else if temp direction is equal to south, then we can just copy this. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, and we'll do player y plus equal 5. And player hunger is the same. Um, <clears throat> and else if temp direction is equal to east, then player x will be plus equal 5. 
and the player hunger will be minus minus equal 0 0.5 else if temp direction is equal to west then player x minus equal 5 and player hunger minus equal 0 0.5 okay <clears throat> and of course when all of this is done we want to since this is just this part here so when all of this is done we want to go back to the game world okay so we'll do game world okay so let's try and run this we'll do new tom 600 by 450 and uh, down here we want to type move north how many steps um we could do five steps then look at the cords and the hunger hmm that's slightly odd hold on Okay, so I figured out that it was very stupid actually. Okay, so minus equal um, temp step times five. And also temp step times, which for some reason I forgot. Um, to do it there, let's just put this in here and here. Uh, oh shit. There we go. <clears throat> and do, do, do. and same goes for here and here and here. Oh yeah. Let's try it out now. So we'll do move north. How many steps? Let's do a hundred. Okay, right, so you see the courts changed and the hunger went down by fifty. So, um, yeah, all we did to change the last part here was we put in temp step times, and then the the amount that we wanted to decrease or increase. So I think this has been a fairly long video, so I should probably stop it now, but... Oh well, I want to do a little thing here, though. Um, let's do console, but right. Since we need to define where the input needs to be put. And then here, how many steps? And we should have like this. There we go. I think that should... No, that's right, it doesn't work. Um, <coughs> we'll just have this one. Or rather, rather, here we'll delete the line part. Um, how many steps? And we'll just copy this one in here, and here, and here. There we go. So let's run it one last time. New times um, 200 by 4 something. Um, move west. How many steps? Uh, let's do 30. Okay, so now the chords are actually in minus. So yeah, one minor low thing here. And uh, what we want to do in here is at the bottom here, I want to just quickly do a check so well that we don't exceed the borders. Um, that's not supposed to happen. Um, if player Y is greater than max y then player y is equal to max y it's just a very quick way of of making the player stay inside the borders we can just if temp direction is equal to let's put it okay so here um 
So let's see. Da, 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 da. So the max y um, is greater than, or is less than, rather, um, minus max y. Was yeah, yep. Uh, then the player is equal to minus max y. Which I suppose would only make sense. You could also just make this zero, to be honest. Uh, which well, I actually think we'll do that. We'll zero, and then zero. <coughs> Since we do put the player in the, in the very middle. Okay, so in here we'll just do max x. Same goes for here, max x. And uh, that's down here. Once again, zero and zero. Okay, so now the if we start the game here. Okay, and then we do move it north. How many steps? Let's do six thousand seven hundred something. Okay. Uh, let's see that did go into minus. Let's see here. If player y is greater than max y, then player y is equal to max y. What's the max y? I did put that kind of high, didn't I? Um, if it is less than zero, then it must be zero. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to fix this one in the next video. So, yeah, bye.